Have you thought about building your brand using Pinterest? Let's dive into that, shall we? Okay, my name is Cherise Marie, and I am your Pinterest priestess. I teach all things Pinterest and Pinterest related funnels and all the good things. And I help entrepreneurs just like you supercharge their marketing strategy using Pinterest, using my Pinterest alchemy methods to get the income and the impact that they dream of. If that sounds interesting, hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, so let's talk about using Pinterest to really build your brand, to build brand awareness. Um, you can do this for really any business. Now, one of the things that I like to tell my clients is that Pinterest is a really good way to amplify your message and to really get it out there to more people for no, not really any dollars. There's just the amount for Tailwind every month, um, which is $17 a month. Um, but other than that, it's just a little bit of elbow grease on either your part or your VA's part, or your Pinterest manager's part, whoever you choose to manage your Pinterest account, um, that person does probably about an hour for each piece of content that you put out there. Um, I recommend to people, you know, one or two pieces of content per month. Um, I do a little bit more than that, obviously, because I have YouTube that I promote. I have a blog posts that I promote regularly. Um, I have Facebook stuff that I'm sometimes promoting. I do a fair number of things. Um, but for the most part, once a month or so, you go in, you create a couple new pins using my patent pending. Well, that's not patent pending because there's no way to patent it. But my... Um, template formula that gives you you know 40 pins in very very short period of time it actually takes longer to download the pins especially the video ones then who spoiler alert there's some video pins there um it takes longer to download the video pins than it does to actually create all the pins it's crazy um and then it takes less time even to do all the uploading it's fantastically like seriously it's so easy um so you can use Pinterest. It's got this amazing gift that it gives to all the people who use Pinterest of being able to get your message out there. And if you're using the right keywords, really amplify that message in a big way and get people into your things and get them finding you. Isn't that genius? Now you can use Pinterest for anything, okay? Pinterest, really, if your niche is something that women buy, even if it's man related, even if it's whatever, if it is something that women are the purchasers of, then you can sell it on Pinterest quite easily. Um, if your brand is something that, um, you know, that female entrepreneurs buy. If your brand is something that women buy for their husbands or for their children, women are the primary purchasers of almost everything in this day and age, aren't they? They, ha they control the money in most households because, you know, they're the one, the guys, they, men tend to eat, fall into one of two camps. Either they're too lazy and they really don't care and they're like, just spend whatever, I don't care. Or they're not the primary breadwinner and they really don't care. <laughs> so pick one, right? Um, so they tend to fall into these two camps where in both cases, they're like, I don't care, just buy the thing. I don't care. Um, and so women end up being the ones who buy things. Well, women make up like 70% of Pinterest users. And 93% of Pinterest users, so 93% of those 70% of women, use Pinterest. Sorry, that screen's bouncing a little bit. The cat's over there cleaning herself, um, chewing on her paws. Um, 70%, uh, no, sorry, 93% of those 70% of Pinterest users who are women are using Pinterest to plan purchases. Of those, well, actually, of those 70%, 
87% of them have used Pinterest to directly buy something off of a link click from a pin in the past. 87%. Average car value, I think it's like 140 bucks on average, something like that. It's crazy good. They are four times, your buyers are four times more likely to buy your thing off of Pinterest than off of any other platform. Uh-huh. And it's free. It's crazy. It's crazy. So building your brand really makes a lot of sense on Pinterest. Um, because the more pins you put out there, the more content you share, the more authority you build, the more likely it will be that when your ideal client who you know really well because we've talked about the pain points that you need to have and their heaven that they their, their hell and their heaven that they need to have their dream outcome when you nail that and you're able to talk to your clients or to your potential clients in a way that absolutely dials right in exactly what they want and how they want to receive it when you get that Oh my God, everything changes. Everything changes. It's crazy, crazy how fast this can happen. So, but how do you do this for your branding? Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to push the cat off. Like seriously, she's like, she's gone. Okay, don't you love how my my live, my videos are more like a live, like, hey, I'm really me. I just, I'm not perfect. I'm not professional. I hope you're enjoying it this way because this is how you're going to get it forever. I am not a professional apology kind of chicky. I am a causa like I sees it balls to the wall kind of chicky. Um, I just do live you know, I come live and I, here I am. Okay, or pretty close to live anyways. I chop the end in the beginning off and then I call it good enough for the most part. Okay, so segueing a little bit. One thing that I will say when it comes to branding on Pinterest, okay, to building your brand on Pinterest. Yes, you want to put lots of content out there. You know, you want to be sharing lots of helpful valuable information and providing pins that um, consider your pins to be ads. So each pin is an ad. Each version of a pin that you save to a different board is an ad. And each time it gets reshared, that's an ad. Like it's crazy. The numbers get really big, really fast. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is because it's an ad, you need to write the pin description and title as ad copy. Okay, so many people, so many businesses are on Pinterest, and they don't understand Pinterest's true nature. And so they just write this fluffy wishy washy stuff. And they don't give anyone a reason to take the next step in the funnel. Now a funnel takes a potential purchaser from point A, where they are right now, having all of these problems, to point B, where you've solved all the problems for you, them and they've chucked money at you. That's what a funnel is. So however your stagger, however your steps go in that, whether they start off with a free thing or a low cost thing or whatever, in order to get onto your list and then you upsell them from there, all those things, okay? Or whether you're, whatever, okay? Whatever that journey looks like, you have to invite them on that first step. So that is part of your brand, okay? You want to make sure that when you're doing that, that you are inviting and engaging them in a way that they're clear that this is the next step that they should take in order to achieve their goal. And their goal is heaven, whatever their heaven is in this moment, okay? You want them to, they're walking away from the pain and towards what they really want. They're walking towards that life of no pain. The life of bliss. I love that word bliss. Don't you love the word bliss? So, the final piece of this puzzle is that, yes, you want your name out there. Yes, you want to make sure that you are 
somewhat within your brand when it comes to your authentic voice, when it comes to the language choices that you use. Okay, you want your pins to talk the way that you talk so that they resonate with the right people. Because if the pin conversation is different from the conversation on your website, which is different from the conversations that you have on video, which is different from the conversations in your programs, they're not gonna wanna do anything. They're gonna be confused. They're gonna be like, what? I signed up for this person and then this person showed up and then this person showed up and this, oh my God, what are they, are they schizophrenic? I mean, seriously, how many personalities does this brand have? Don't do that, okay? You want one brand consistently. However, having said that, the pin graphics themselves need to be a pattern interrupt. They need to be something that is not just static quo. They need to be different from everything else that's in the feed. Now, if your normal branding is different from everything else that's in the feed, yay you, you've already got an advantage. If your branding is just like everybody else's in your field, in your niche, then you're not going to get noticed on Pinterest. They need to be pretty. They need to be enticing, but they need to stand out. If they don't stand out in a reasonably crowded field, you're not going to be successful. That's just the cold, honest truth. Okay. Even with standing out, even with all of my tips, there are occasions where it does not immediately take off and you do not immediately see the results of your efforts. That's the reality as well. The goal though, the goal is that you're playing the long game when it comes to Pinterest. You're playing for keeps. So you're willing and able and excited even to keep futzing with it until you figure it all out exactly. And sometimes that takes minutes and sometimes that takes a little longer. We never know when that's gonna happen, but it does and it feels amazing when it does, okay? So that's all I got for you ladies today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess. I am used to Facebook groups where it's all women. My apologies, men. Um, I do think about you too. My programs are not just for ladies. They are really not. Um, Speaking of which, if you're interested in working with me, let me just do a little pitch, okay? Just a teeny pitch. If you're interested in working with me, everybody else offers either done-for-you services, which are pretty pricey. I offer them too if you're interested in that. Um, or they offer a standalone course that doesn't have any human connection whatsoever. I offer something that is a hybrid. It is a group program that is live, in person, has actionable steps. I walk you through live training of every single thing that we talk about. You get feedback in real time on your pins, on your pin descriptions. We work out your keywords and your hashtags and your board descriptions and your, you know, tailwind process, all of that stuff, you actually have someone walking you through every single step to make sure that your account has as many advantages as humanly possible. Now, here's the big secret about Pinterest, okay? The last time I checked, there were 70 million user accounts, 500,000 business accounts, only half a million. Out of those 70 million Pinterest accounts, only half a million of them are businesses. Of those half a million, probably half of them are not active. They, got, they took a course, they kind of started, they got stuck somewhere along the way, and they gave up. If that's you, come talk to me, we'll get you in the course, we'll get you all sorted out, okay? Of the 250,000 that are left, probably half of them didn't take any courses or anything and they're figuring it out on their own and they're not doing so shit on. So really, there's like 250,000 businesses total across all niches in the entire world that are on Pinterest and doing anything of any note. 
Wouldn't you like to be one of those 250,000? Really? Because I think I would. Absolutely. I'd be like, oh yeah. If I had known these stats back before I started doing this business, <laughs> my first business might not have failed. Just tossing it out there. In fact, I still have that business going, limping along. Um, but now I'm too busy with all the other stuff to actually put into play healer physician heal themselves right um to actually put into place i have plan but i haven't had time for it to actually put into place all of the um things that i teach in my course i might do that actually with this round of the program that i'm doing i might do that and show people how to fix an account that's half broken because i started a pinterest account before i knew how to do pinterest well and um, never actually did anything with it. I claimed it and that was the extent of it. <laughs> um, and then I got busy with client accounts and didn't do anything with my own. Um, so we walk through absolutely every step of the way from the very beginning, how to actually claim your business account um, through to how to set up smart loops and how to use um, tribes and you don't know what either of those things are but that's okay um, how to set up smart loops so that your content just evergreen goes through over and over and over again and how to use tribes which are on tailwind which are this really cool feature of like little groups on tailwind to um, hello kitty cat to allow you to share your content with people who are actually active on Pinterest and to allow them to potentially share your content with their followers. It's a fantastic little tool and it is one that only Tailwind people have access to. It's pretty much killed um, Pinterest group boards. So if you're ever reading anything about Pinterest group boards, um, don't bother. <laughs> That's my last nugget for the day, okay? Um, anyways, wherever you are on this amazing rock that we call home, have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.